Somebody's signaling. Don't know why. Don't too much care. It's kind of interesting though. They're signaling for me. I don't know them. I'm here <laughs> apparently randomly. But, you know, nothing's random. So basically, Basically, uh, I want to go talk to this individual, of course. They're in some sort of distress. Not necessarily distress, but... That's probably a bad way of describing it, but... I'll probably go talk to them and find out what's going on. <coughs> Excuse me. So, oh. sorry, hold on. I don't know if they'll come to the door. Hey, what's up? I'm trespassing. What's that? It's private property. You can be arrested. Okay. Go check the sign on the corner. It's private property. Why are you flashing the light, though? Private complex. What's the light for? This is private property. You're illegally parked. Go check the sign. Illegally parked? How so, again? Go read the sign. Which one? Right here? Okay, hold on. This one here? I don't think I can get this on video, but... Private property, no trespassing. Violators will be prosecuted. Warning, neighborhood watch program in force. Okay, that's all normal stuff. Was that the sign right here? What's that? It applies to this property. They have a what? It applies to this property. This, the sign here? Okay. And you're, pri you're on private property. And you don't belong here. You have no business here unless you know a resident. Are you sure? Yep, I'm positive. I can give you the manager and want the manager's phone Sorry, if I can't hear you, the cars are making lots of noise. Would you like the manager's phone number? The manager's phone number? The manager. Mm, not, not, not really. Well, because if you've got questions, she'll tell you. The mayor, in fact, Mayor Lee Brand owns these apartments. Yeah. And you are on private property. I live here. No, you don't. Are you sure? Yeah, I know my neighbors. You don't live here. Oh. You've been sitting there drinking beer, and I can tell you're buzzed or drunk. Police lives matter. And so you just, I would just appreciate it if you left. You're disturbing my evening. 
You're not disturbing mine. But you're disturbing mine and you're on private property. I like the flashlight thing. You're on private property. I'm entitled to that. If I leave, I'm gonna go like 20 feet down the street and go well, to bed. Well, I will call the police if you continue to park here because this is this is private parking. This is private. It's private property. Private You're not property. To park here without permission. You can go down the corner around there and park on First Street all you want. But why? Because this is private. I don't understand the flashlight. You don't understand the private part? No, the flashlight. Oh, I was just trying to get your attention so you'd leave. But did it make me leave though? Well, not yet, but I'm working on it. Oh. If you hadn't been in your car, I would have posted a sign on it telling you you can't park there. But oh. you're not coming outside because I don't know who you are. I'm, uh, you want my name? No, I would just like you to leave. If you just leave and go away, we'll be fine. Oh. You're disturbing the family. I live like 20 feet away. Which apartment? Down there. What's what? your name? If you live here, what's your name? You said you didn't want my name. Well, now that you live here, I would like your name. <laughs> I don't mind knowing my neighbors. And if you live right down there, 20 feet, you I do. can park down there. I really do. No, you don't. Because I know my neighbors, and you're not one of them. It's kind of bright. Yeah, I know. That's why I'd like you to leave. I know you have a buzz and you've been drinking beer and you think it's all funny, but you're disturbing our evening. And you're, this is where we I know, live. but you're you're disturbing me with your life. No, because you're on as private well. property. It makes a difference. If you were on a public street, it would be different. I wouldn't be able to bother you, but you're on a public street. You're on private property. It doesn't feel like private property, though. Well, it doesn't have to feel like it. It's not the feeling. It's the law. You are on private property. If you have a question, you can call Lee Brand in the morning, the mayor's office. I don't know him. I don't know him, though. Well, but he's your mayor if you live in Fresno. Yeah, 20 feet. Well, then he's your mayor, and you should get to know him, and he can tell you that this is his property, and this is private. Mm. What's your name? My name? Yeah. You don't need to know my name, because I live here. I mean, you're my neighbor, so I want to get to know you. Well, you're not actually my neighbor, because I know my neighbors, and you don't live around here. My car, the Prius right here, that's, that's because you haven't gone to where it's at, but it's like oh, down I, there. I go down there all the time. Around the, the corner. The lives right down there. Yeah, I know. Yeah, what's her name? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you don't know it because you don't live here. I do live here. No, you don't. Yeah. What's the manager's name? I forget. She's Mexican, though. I mean, she's, she's She Spanish. is. How do you know she's Mexican? Because I live here. Well, what apartment number? 103. 103? Yeah. Right down here at the Just end? Down the street. That's 103? Not like this particular uh, turn turn left. Well, the over lady here. that lives down on the next section in 103, you don't live with her. I know her. Hmm. And I know the family that lives next door to her, and I know the man that lives next door to her. So, no, you're pretty much not in 103. Am I being threatening to you? You're disturbing my peace, and this is my private property. I pay for this. This is my hmm. spot, not yours. You don't pay to live here. I do. And I could hear your radio through my window, which disturbed my peace. That's why I noticed you. Okay. So if you would just leave, nobody would have noticed you. And you're drinking beer. Yeah. And you're drunk. No. Uh, you got a buzz, I can tell. I've seen buzz people. I've seen drunk people. Your you your flashlight a, actions look community. look schizophrenic, paranoia to me, actually. Well, you know not what? not as a judgment, you know but what? there's a lot of strange psychopathic people that come through here. I saw their paperwork. They threw it on the lawn the other day. There's a schizophrenic. Do I seem psychopathic to you? So you know, do I'm I paranoid. do I do I seem psycho psychopathic? You could, you know what? You could be. You I'm just could talking have a to lot you. Of issues that I don't know about. I'm, I'm just talking very normally. Well, you are, but that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Why? The guy that raped and murdered my daughter talked normally too, but he's in death row. So if you don't mind, I would really appreciate you leaving. Okay, but I'm not really leaving though. But I would like you to leave. Like it's a pretend leaving. No, I would like you to leave. I mean, I, I will. I will literally be like. Well, not, not, paces not down the street and now right? you've imprinted yourself in my memory so I'm gonna have yeah, to come back and say hello I'm so pleased with your memory 
No, I mean, like, I want to introduce... I want to actually, like, say hello to you. Like, well, not... hello. What's your name? Now go home. Go. Go home. If you live down there, go home. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't because you don't live down there. I, you want to follow me? Huh? You want to come come with me and meet, meet the family? No. Well, I then you, you believe me. I don't know you and I don't believe you. You do believe me. No, I don't. Otherwise, you'd come and say hello to the family. No, I wouldn't because I don't know you. I've never seen you. I've never seen your car. I do not know you. <laughs> Okay, well, this was fun. Yeah, been fine, but go home. What's your go name? Go to your own home. I do, I live down the street. No, you don't. Well, then go to it. Get in your car and drive down to your home. Put your car in your garage and go. I don't have a garage, though. These all have garages. You have a garage. Everybody has my, a garage. My dad has a garage. That's, that's who I live with. Your dad? Yeah. Well, then go down and park in front of his garage. And I could probably park here, too. That's, I think that's uh, completely fine. I do actually live here. No, I don't think you do. I really do. What's your dad's name? Dave. Dave? Da yeah, down the street. Really? What's yep. his wife's name? Uh, he doesn't have a wife. Oh, but he does. Oh, he does. No, no, they're divorced. Yeah, he does. Yeah, suddenly Dave has a suddenly Dave has a wife. Yeah. My mother. Yeah. Yeah. Really? She's not they're divorced. You know? Tell me about her. So, you lose again on that game. How so? Because she's too old. She's not old enough to be your mother. What? Who? What? Yeah, I know. You're confused. That's why you need to get in your car and go home. And not hit anybody on the way. I'll, I'll just leave it here. I'll walk over. It's like 20 feet down the street. Fine. Just go home. Quit disturbing me. I'm having a great time. Well, good. But I'm not. You're disturbing me. And this is private property. And you need to leave. You're standing on MySpace. It's Facebook now. What? It's Facebook now. What's Facebook? It's not MySpace anymore. I'm not on Facebook. I don't do Facebook. I know, but... I'm not a geek. No social media at all? Like, no no Twitter, no Snapchat? What for? Say hello to people? What for? I talk on the phone or I talk face-to-face. Why, why do you go on Facebook and talk to people you don't see them? You don't even see their faces. But you can, like, arrange an interaction through Facebook. Can you? Well, that's not nice, but I'd rather talk face to face to people. Like this? Like this, but not to you. But you are talking to me. But I, but I don't want to. I'm asking you to leave. I know, but I'm, like, gently declining, so... Yeah, I know, because you're drunk. I'm not drunk. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I, saw, I watched you drink a beer. That's not even beer. Yeah, but it was. It's soda. It's a big silver malt can. Not silver malt can. Yeah? No. That's what they look like. <laughs> Do I still represent a threat to you? I didn't say a threat. I just asked you to leave. You're disturbing my night. Yeah, like, that's a threat. It's like some intrusion, because... You're intruding on my space. Yeah. And you should leave. The polite thing would be to leave. Can I have your name? No, you don't need my name. Please? No. Nickname? Hmm? Can I have like a nickname? Like a nickname? No. Like, uh, I don't know. Like the mother of a daughter, mother murdered daughter who doesn't like strangers around? You can, you can use that. If you want to um, use a nickname. What's that? I'm, I'm the mother of a murdered daughter, and I don't like strangers around, if you like to use that kind of a name. That's not a name. That's a scenario. Well, that's how it works here. You make me nervous, so please go. I don't make you nervous. Yeah, you do. Drop it. You could be a killer. Drop it. You could be a killer. Drop it. Drop what? Drop look the up, look, look drop up, the facade. Look up crabs on the you know, you know, I don't make you nervous. You, 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 you're a hundred percent certain. K R E B S, and you will find out you are talking to the mother of a murdered daughter, murdered, raped, tortured. And uh, I appreciate you leave. I'm sorry about your daughter, but you yeah, know. You need to leave. You're, you're upsetting me now. You know that. You know that I'm not here, a threat. I'm gonna call my mom. I'm just down the street.
No name? Last chance. Yeah, I got a man here standing at my bedroom window. 